Like any field of study, archaeology has its own set of basic assumptions. Some of these assumptions are common to all areas of science, while others are more specialized. However, archaeology is in historical study and is therefore highly influenced by philosophical assumptions. The philosophical assumptions of an archaeologist can affect how he sees evidence and what he sees has evidence. Because of philosophical differences among archaeologists, there is often disagreement about interpretation of evidence. These differences need to be considered when reading reports and other statements about archaeological finds. Since archaeology deals with history, it is by definition an historical science. This means that archaeology requires deducing the past from the present. As a result, it requires making assumptions about the past. These assumptions include assumptions about what material is the most trustworthy. This is because even chronologies from different sources do not always agree. In written material, there is also the need to discern historical accounts from fiction. Furthermore, the assumptions made are often philosophical in nature. This problem is made worse in archaeology and other historical sciences by the degree of preservation of historical evidence. The further back in time you go, the less historical evidence is preserved because it deteriorates and is destroyed by man-made and natural disasters. The result is that the further back in time an archaeologist looks, the less historical evidence remains, requiring more and more assumptions to be made. Because the further back in time one tries to study, the less actual data there is, assumptions need to be made about the past. This is because most artifacts do not have clear labels and need to be interpreted. Furthermore, not everything written is equally accurate or complete, because sometimes records have been destroyed, accidentally and deliberately, altered and embellished. As a result, putting together a history requires separating the good from the bad, and to do this it is necessary to make assumptions about past events. The assumptions used are generally philosophic in nature, even if the researcher does not realize it. For example, an archaeologist whose philosophical position does not allow for the possibility of aircraft in ancient times would tend to assume that any written references to men flying are mythological. The point is that one's philosophical assumptions about the past greatly affect what one considers viable evidence about the past. This is not to say that incorrect philosophical assumptions will result in evidence being hidden, though it could, but that it would probably not be interpreted correctly. The philosophy of establishment archaeology is inherently atheistic. That is, as a starting assumption, any involvement of God or the supernatural is considered to be myth and not real history. Now, that does not mean that all archaeologists that back up the mainstream view of history are atheists, but that they ignore God in their work. This naturally results in a philosophy of archaeology that excludes much of the Bible as a starting assumption. As a result, establishment archaeologists assume that the Bible is wrong unless it is confirmed by another source. Furthermore, it results in a presupposition of molecules to man evolution. Thus, any evidence for advanced technology in the distant past is dismissed out of hand. The point is that the atheistic philosophy of establishment archaeology does have an effect on the conclusions made. In conclusion, the philosophical assumptions of an archaeologist can affect how he sees evidence and what he sees as evidence. Because the further one looks back in time, the more actual evidence has been lost, assumptions need to be made about the past to do any kind of archaeology. As a result, philosophical assumptions have a significant effect on the conclusions of archaeologists. Since mainstream archaeology starts with evolutionary and atheistic assumptions, it is inevitable that some conclusions will contradict the Bible. So using such conclusions against the Bible results in a logical fallacy. It also results in dismissing anything potentially supernatural as myth, such that a real supernatural event in the past would be dismissed on purely philosophical grounds, even if it is the best explanation for the evidence.